The story I'm going to describe has to do with a company called uh, Lakeland uh, Industries. Now, just to be clear, they're not doing anything out of the ordinary because of the outbreak of the Ebola virus or of EVD-68, another uh, enterovirus. But this has to do with the kind of protective clothing that you see in all of the photographs and all of the video of people dealing with this disease and with the virus that is part of it and trying to protect themselves. Well, these make, this company makes hazmat suits. And ah. uh, so, you know, you, and you can go on Amazon and you can spend $85 and you get 25 hazmat suits sent to you. And the stock of the company was up about 55% uh, yesterday. Uh, it's up a little bit today uh, as well. But um, this and Alpha Protect, I mean, this is the classic example of take a look at what's going on in the news and then see how it ripples into the world of investments, how closely linked the two things are. And, you know, you've been covering the Ebola uh, virus out. Outbreak. So, you know, Lakeland Industries, Alpha Protect, we've talked about the biotech companies yes. that are trying to develop the vaccines. I know that's something that you've been looking at. Um, Sanofi uh, and Takeda, they both have uh, trials of vaccines, but there's no known vaccine uh, right now for Ebola. So the best you can do is protect yourself if there's going to be greater demand at airports, at public uh, places of uh, uh, Travel stock up two hundred percent. Look, it seems yeah. cold. It seems heartless. Well, I'm not saying it's it, 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 it just intentionally it comes across to people as crass. But this is the beauty, the genius, if you will, of financial markets. Right, finding identifying opportunity. Right. Well, that's the thing, though. But, I'm, of course, you know, you look at people who maybe had bought into the stock prior to the big move higher, and maybe what they saw is, you know, a company that is producing suits and protective gear for all kinds of industries, whether it's the chemical business, whether sure. it is, you know, uh, suits for people uh, cleaning, uh, you know, oil tanks or whatever. But uh, it's interesting to look at these kinds of things and recognize that for every possible thing out there, you know, there's a business that is doing something about it, and maybe it's something you want to be a shareholder of. So this was the idea, Lakeland, uh, Lakeland Industries. Pim, interesting. Based in Ronkonkoma, New York. Ronkonkoma. Yes. That's that? Long Island. That is. Yeah, there you very go. good. I can't believe I knew that.